Hey guys, welcome back. You know, it's been a little, it's been a little while since we last did a tutorial over here at For Educate, and you know, it's we've been on a little hiatus, and apologize for that. But nonetheless, we're gonna bring you some really hot, fresh new tutorials um, on WordPress, dynamic web web development, and things like app development as well too, iPhone, Android, things like that to you know make your development life a little bit easier. So the first thing. You know, let's focus on this first thing here, and that's going to be uh, you know installing WordPress locally on your Mac. Um, you, know, you can do the same thing. You know, follow along and do the same thing for Windows, except you'd be using WAMP because in this version we're going to use MAMP, which is MySQL Apache, uh, or which is Macintosh Apache MySQL and PHP. Um, in, in the previous tutorials, you know, we taught you how to get MAMP up and running and, and ready to rock and roll for things like this. Well, the first thing that you're going to need to do is let's you know let's get started by going to wordpress.org forward slash download, and you're going to see the latest and greatest version of WordPress here. It's going to say download WordPress 3.2.1. Well, I've already done that and downloaded it. You'd need to unzip it um, in order to get get that running. What I'm going to do is let's discuss the document root a little bit again. So right now I have it under user username and then sites in our previous tutorial I told you to use htdocs which is under your applications your MAMP folder and then htdocs and this is like your pre um, defined place that you know is automatically configured with MAMP so when you first launch MAMP the path here that I'm showing you now is what's automatically in the document root so feel free to place your files in here as well um, it's fine. There's no problem with that. The reason I switched this is because this is just what I'm used to developing on it. You know, I've been doing it for a long time, so this just makes sense for me. Feel free to put yours under the HC docs. It makes really no difference at all. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of here. Oops. I'm cancel out of this guy first. Cancel out of here. Now let's let's go ahead and get this installed. So I'm going to come down to my sites folder. Oops. There we go. And I'm going to open in Finder. And I got this WordPress 3.2 in here. And you're like, okay, well, you downloaded 3.2.1. Why are you messing with 3.2? It's an older version. Well, that's because I'm going to give you a quick rundown, real quick. I think one of the biggest problems with WordPress books and things like that in general is they teach you kind of, they do a great job of teaching, don't get me wrong, but I think they teach a couple things backwards. And security is always you find in the end of the, end of the book. I think that needs to come first in the book because let's say you spend a lot of time um, developing a really cool site. You got your social network integrated, everything working phenomenal. Um, you're real happy. You spend tons of time con putting content together, pictures, uh, and then somebody hacks your site and you're like, oh, well, I just wasted a lot of time. I don't even feel like doing that again. And you know, you go back to being upset. <laughs> I guess I don't know. You go back to whatever. So. I'm going to start with 3.2, and it's going to lead me to a future tutorial here um, that's going to teach you how to properly upgrade, uh, secure, backup, things like that. So, again, this tutorial is just about installing, but that's why I'm using that if you're wondering. So, let's go ahead and unzip this guy. And now we got this WordPress folder. Name this folder whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, for this instance, let. That, that security thing I was talking about too, feel free to visit justinjunda.com. I just you know created my blog again as well. Uh, you'll see a lot of the default stuff on here as well, but I made a post about securing WordPress properly, and uh, you can read that and start following the blog as well, and you'll be able to you know see exactly what I'm talking about all the time. All right, so back to what I was doing is we're going to come into our finder. Back to our finder. There we go. And we're going to name this. Uh, actually, if you know anything about reverse domains, if you're ever using uh, classes or packages and programming, you'll notice a lot of the developers uh, use reverse domains, which is just a way to identify, you know, your class or package, so it doesn't get confused with other things. But I do the same thing for my naming convention sometimes. Um, and site development as well too. You can do whatever you want. It's totally up to you. We're going to call this Calm Dev Justin Junda. Essentially, 
the only thing you do is just take the column and put it in front of what would be your domain name and this just works great for what we're doing um, again name this Larry Bob Susie this folder name doesn't matter name it something that pertains to your site um, so now if we go to our local host which we learned a little bit about the local host before if we type in local host and make sure you have MAMP running if MAMP is not running this will not work make sure you got green lights on both of these MAMP of the Apache server and MySQL server otherwise it will not work um, and when you type in localhost it's going to take you to that document root that I was talking about so inside this document root you'll see a folder called com dev justin junda that's what we just named and this was our original file ignore the other two those are just for me so it's going to ask us to create a configuration file there's no existing configuration file just hit you know go so to speak uh, we're going to talk about these in a minute so you can read through this but it lets go so database name well right now we don't have a database set up so we need to do that come back down to map hit open start page and you're gonna see PHP my admin ignore all these other databases in here it's just a bunch of junk from developing over time um, we're gonna to need to create a new database if you never use PHP my admin don't worry it's as simple as just clicking this button up here coming to create new database right here and we're gonna use that same reverse domain again this could be whatever you want to it could be S Sally Bob Lou it doesn't matter name it whatever works for you I'm naming mine so I can remember what it belongs to that's usually the best way to name things is name them wisely so you know what they are and you're not digging around trying to figure out what they are so hit create so you got a new database now for the database name we're gonna name it com dev justin junda because we just we just did that alright everything's good so far now for the username if you have a default installation and you have followed the um, MAMP tutorials that I did previously if you did everything default like I did then your username is going to be root and your password is going to be root. Oops, we can type root, there we go. So that's good. Um, you know, you can change this if you want to. That's for another tutorial for me to talk about. But essentially, if you're on your local machine, the, the username and password of root is going to be fine. If you deploy this to a production server or go live with this on the web, you need to change those. I'll show you how to do that in the future. But you need to change those because if you don't you will be hacked really quickly and you know I keep saying all these things about hacked and being hacked and all this riffraff don't be scared because WordPress has you know tons of developers who make great plugins you know great community that help prevent a lot of this but you need to take the appropriate measures to protect yourself as well it's kinda like you know nobody wants to get their house robbed and the way you prevent that is locking the door yeah <laughs> exactly so lock your door essentially uh, don't leave it wide open I know people in Canada do that a lot they leave their doors open so it's kinda kinda interesting nothing wrong with that though um, anyways back back to the task at hand so localhost what is this thing localhost well that's what we've typed in up here you know to get to where we're at localhost and then most of the time this just refers to your local root on your server if you are in a production environment 99% a chance you're going to be fine cPanel things like that um, you know if you don't know what cPanel is it's just like a GUI administrative front end so to speak that allows you to manage everything from your hosting configurations um, the only host that I know of that doesn't give you uh, that doesn't allow you to set this to local host is GoDaddy they give you a pretty lengthy string name uh, string meaning you know care you know characters essentially that you know you need to put in here and replace but most of the time 99 percent of the time you're gonna be fine with localhost and you never know I might do a go go daddy tutorial just you know show you what I'm talking about so this table prefix well this is pretty important that you change this this is super security measures some people leave it WP well you know people that are scanning the web bots whatever it may be that are scanning the web look for things just like this because WordPress is very very popular they look for things just like this so you're gonna want to change this to something 
um, that works for you. It can be anything. I name it the name of my sites because that way I can keep them clean. And I don't name them that way every time, but you know, just for tutorial purposes, that's what we're going to name it. Uh, name it anything you want. So com, dev, Justin Jund. It's a little long, creates long table names in the database, but uh, it works out really well. So once you're done with all that, hit submit. Uh, it says, all right, Sparky, run the install. Well, that's what we're going to do. Boom. So now it's just going to ask you for some basic information, you know, development site for Justin Junda. I've named it. Uh, name it whatever you want. Joe's Crab Shack, whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter. And as a three, uh, WordPress 3.0, you're going to see uh, the fact that you can actually name this administrator panel, the, the username for your administration panel, which is wp-admin, uh, anything you want. Uh, in previous versions, all you could name it was is admin. That was the default, de facto, just boom, admin, that's it. So now it's good that they came to realize that uh, that's, that's a security risk as well. So we're going to type in our password twice. I can never type in my password twice, right? There we go. And then we're going to come up with an email. I'm not going to give you all my email. <laughs> um, you can go to justinjunda.com and send me a message if you'd like, but I don't want my email out there to millions and millions of people. So I made up one, justinfredjucate at gmail.com. All right, if you want to email me, feel free to do that. Put an email here because that's going to be the email for your site. So when people do email you off your site, that's where it's going to come to. Last option here, allow my site to appear in search engines like Google and Technorati. We're going to uncheck that because this is locally to our local machine. Um, so it wouldn't really matter in the first place. But if we go live on the Internet in a production environment, we're going to want to go into our settings and check that off again if you want it to appear in search engines. Some people don't. Some people do. Anyways, install WordPress. There we go. It says success. We've done it. We've installed WordPress. Log in with the name and password. And we see this cool back end interface of WordPress. And this is going to allow us to, you know, create posts, pages, links. Um, it's going to allow us to do everything we need to set up our site. Let's take a look at what our site looks like. Boom, there it is. That's that title we put in in the back end. You know, just another WordPress site, their famous tagline. Um, all this good stuff, you know, and you get your first post down here. Welcome to WordPress. Hello world standard development thing. Um, you know, that's really about it. You know, you can follow again. I'm going to be building from the ground up my site too, as we work through this, just so you can see how it all works together, but feel free to check out cool posts that I'm going to be making about, you know, securing WordPress, WordPress development, app development, things like that in general over at justinjunda.com. And again, you can, uh, you know, vid, visit fredjucate.org as well. You know, both cool resources to, you know, learn a lot. So, oh, last thing I'll say here is updates. Remember how I did 3.2? Well, we'll get into this in the, in the future tutorial of how to update. Um, you, know, you can update now if you want to, but we're going to do it the proper way. That way you never have any issues. Uh, because as this important message up here says, before updating, please back up your database and files. Uh, so you can read more. We'll go into tutorial on this in the future. But again, you know, thanks for watching. You know, check for you know, updates and new tutorials coming out here 